Okay, there's gonna be a lot of dead people. Let's start our ult. That's one. Oh my God. That's two. Three is coming my way. That's three. And there's a triple. Surrender vote coming in in 20 seconds, I assume. Bye. What is up beautiful people, it's Shilladen here, welcome back to my channel. Today we're playing casuals as Anubis mid against what looks like a Morrigan Camazots or maybe Aphrodite, not really sure, should be Morrigan really. We're doing the proxy wave over here. If it works, if they don't pay attention to me and are not prepared, it's gonna be GG minute one. If they are prepared, we're gonna struggle for the rest of the game. So it's really a gamble, but I'm gonna take that gamble. There you are, perfect positioning. They're on the buff. Two hits for each minute. No, three, huh? I thought it was two. But okay, we just go in there. Morgan now clearly knows if she has her map enabled uh, that I'm going for her red buff, but she cannot do anything because she has to get her wave. And if she contests that and loses, it's too risky for her. So I'm forcing her into a gamble or into straight up giving me this for free. And just to secure... Do not to anticipate her doing the same thing. We're going straight for our red buff. There's a good chance that she did that. Yep. We either catch her or just do this. Poke her out a little bit. We're going to position ourselves in front of the wave and life steal off of her and, and the minions at the same time. Bastet should be able to secure that kill now. It's pretty free. I think she also burned her beats. Spoo Kamazos off of our Bastet, and that'll be the first blood. We have pressure in their jungle. We're very much ahead immediately, and that's basically GG. That's how we win a game of Anubis. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe. Goodbye, guys. See ya. <laughs> no, not really. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Unless I throw, like, really hard. They're not gonna come back from this because Anubis from ahead is nasty. As soon as I hit that level 5, I will be extremely risky to gank. Even with my limited mobility. Uh, Bastet is already in the dual lane, probably killing something very soon. Let's grab that totem MP5. That's too bad. Dude, that guy is literally a bot. No problem. Yep, they got the enemy support, which is what I, uh, like I expected. Unfortunately, I just noticed that we have honor in the solo lane. She did some damage. She stunned me out of my one. Okay. Hello, Kama. I think we're safe here. We're just gonna pop this. Uh, beats the slow. He cannot catch me anymore. Ouch. Oh, Kama's looking for a blink. Let's try and catch him. Gotta juke that, juke the next one. Okay, we don't juke the next one, unfortunately. It shouldn't have killed me, but it looks like Morrigan's 2 was still active. That double skill damage is something that I forgot about. I got killed and unfortunately Busted didn't pay attention to the fact that there was free experience in there. So she missed like half a wave, which is a lot of XP for a jungler. Every time the mid laner or whatever dies and you see that they're not gonna be come back for the experience, you drop your jungle and go for that XP because it's free and your jungle most probably are, is not going anywhere. Mischief lurks here. Okay, we're gonna Be get careful. the ult very soon. Gonna look for a kill on her. Let's go, baby! Awesomeness. Looks like Aphrodite is getting ganked, which is expected. It's a mage in the solo lane, which is really stupid. Gonna grab this, gonna start a fight over red buff, I think. Um, oh, Horus is going in. Let's wait over here and maybe alter. Now nah, let's just clear the wave and join the fight on right. I don't really want to go that deep. I have no boots. I have finished Bancroft's I deal a lot of damage, but if I get caught, I'm dead. Okay, there's Morrigan. She's gonna ult into something. That's dead. That was not the play, my man. Okay, that's what I was talking about. I got caught, but unfortunately I deal just too much damage. Hold that. Mine. 
Yeah, you don't face tank Anubis. You wait for, for me to drop my kit and then chase me. If you decide to face tank my damage like this, you're gonna have a bad time. And we're here all about good times, right guys? So don't face tank Anubis damage. Let's go, baby! You rock. Thanks. I'm gonna pop that red buff. I'm probably gonna bag as soon as I have full boots, not sooner than that. I mean, I'm so close that I might as well. I have so much pressure, two levels on the enemy Morrigan. Pop stomping hard in here. It's a casual game, but uh, somehow we still have two grandmasters playing, so it's not like it's total garbage. It's actually a pretty high skill game over here, but yeah. They might have been two. I don't remember exactly which players are grandmasters, but you're gonna see it in the start of the video through my edit. The new shoes with lifesteal are pretty good, but I just find that with the Bancrofts, you really benefit more from extra mana and extra cooldown on the shoes of focus. They should crank it up a little bit. The purple shoes, the power shoes will be effective again. Oh, this man is so dead, it's not even funny. Let's just wrap him in ult and he should die. Mm, I didn't factor in his jump, unfortunately he got out, but it's fine. He has to back, let's force into his speed buff and see if it is up. I'm gonna steal it. Morrigan seemed to be following me. Hello, Morrigan. Your team has destroyed a left enemy tower. Ooh, that's a good pull. I was not expecting that. But I'm fine, I have beats. Fortunately, I lost my beats, but it's not like they have a very CC heavy comp. Let's go, the baby. worst thing that can happen is Morgan stun, oh, I assume, so right. it's fine. I have beats just in case, and that was exactly the case. They're waiting for the red buff, but looks like here's worded, so we're gonna go around. Yep, it's up. They were way too telegraphed about it, like we're trying to secure the buff right over here. Okay, so I'll just wait. Uh, looks like Aphrodite is close. I, I, I heard the noise. Ultimate is down. I heard the kiss, right? It was close. But she's not on the map still. She was just around. But apparently decided not to show up. Oh, there she is. Back at the solo lane. That's fine with me. Bastet's still able to secure something in the dual lane while, well, basically the enemy dual laner is alone there. Mischief lurks. Is she way? She should be way safer than that. How did they track her? She probably wastes her dash for something. Your job not to die. You can snap Gold Fury over here. I have my ult. We have a lot of damage in our kit. Dropping my three, my one, and securing with my ult, just not exactly securing, but just dropping a whole lot of damage on it. Very, very fast. Sylvanas was behind us actually going around, being sneaky. If we caught that, or if we had a couple words there, we would have killed him as well. He was going against three people. But we didn't, but it's fine. We're still sick over 6k ahead. No, exactly 6k ahead, actually. So, yeah, like I said very very hard to come back especially on like non-ranked games it's uh what was the word the pop stomp yeah that's exactly it the anubis pop stomp in your ass since 2012. i'm gonna drop my clear over here put some more damage into the mid tower there's a fight in dual lane but it looks like it's fine but we're winning it very drastically because i put my team so much ahead Okay, there's gonna be a lot of dead people. Let's start our ult. That's one. Oh my God, That's two. That three nice. is coming my way. Poggers. That's three. And it's a triple. Surrender vote coming in in 20 seconds, I assume. Bye. You do the job. That was a very effective fight. I mean, but we're 15 and two. I know somebody might say like, Hello Dune, this is not a good content, you're just stomping. But believe me, that's how most of the games on Anubis go nowadays, especially in casuals. 
and like either you are against uh, good players uh, mostly jungle in me who know how to shut you down and that's a very very depressing sight that i don't want to upload either it goes like this i had like 10 games today and there's no middle ground there's none you just you just go around stomping people or they put you behind very early and you just die and i not always start like i did this game oh this man is very very dead Dude, that guy is literally a boss awesome. Right. Let's ult over here. That's a good ult, but I'm still gonna kill a bunch of people. As I was saying, I don't always start like I did this game. I just find it very, very effective and fun. Something new that you might try for yourself. But even if you start like a normal person, speed to mid, you still outpush most gods. There's something that people don't realize that in the early game, unless you're against the hunter, you can still position yourself in a way that you can clear the whole wave with your one because junglers are not gonna show up near you until the second wave. And pushing out this uh, first wave instantly. Let's go for the Kamazos here, he's way out of position. He's jumping, we're gonna blink in over here. No, he straight up pulled it. I don't think we can get him anymore. But we can get Jin Wei over here. Hello, Jin Wei. Oh, this is up. I'm gonna grab it anyway. This damage. Holy shit, the Spirit Magus now is absolutely ridiculous. You have slain an enemy. Spear Magus, man, why did they do that to it? Like 36% damage increase. Who thought it was a good idea? Like, oh, let's let's do that, okay? It's like pen, but it's but it's not. It's like more damage, okay? So what if I build this and the penetration? What's gonna happen? Oh, I get four, almost forty percent increased damage on gods like Anubis, Agni, and Merlin. That seems like a good idea. And everybody nodded and said, like, oh right, all right, that's very very good. I don't see that happening really, but like I th I assume. That was how it went. There's two people in left, one DC. We should push for Phoenix, but my team backs instead. I guess we're pushing mid and right. Let's blink over this and go from behind. He's not expecting that. Not even gonna burn my ult. No reason to do that. Instead of pushing the split, pushing right lane and decided to join the mid lane. But as you can see, I'm pretty relaxed. <laughs> There's no reason to try hard or anything. This game is very relaxing. To the point where Honor is just farming the AFK DC person in the fountain. I don't know why they don't surrender. It's 24 and 2. There you go. Yeah, guys, that'll be the Anubis game. Went pretty well. Uh, 11 kills out of 24. Pretty good participation. We're obviously gonna report this Jim Wei. But hopefully, the game was entertaining enough for you guys. Okay, in terms of builds, we're going for Bancroft's pretty staple. Some people usually now go Cronus Pendant at tier 2, which is a good pickup, but uh, Anubis without a lifesteal is just not Anubis. So you gotta start with the Bancroft's tier 2, which is almost the same thing as Cronus, uh, but without the MP5. Yet with a lot more HP sustained, so you could just grab more mana pots. Boots of Focus, because better boots, no debate about it, just grab Boots of Focus every time most of the time you will be correct. Spirit Magus because it's an absolutely broken ridiculous item but overall not a whole lot of, to analyze in this build the game was way too short. In terms of damage I obviously output the most of my team besides I actually assume our Grandmaster in the solo lane stomping the mage out damaging her by almost seven times. I out damaged uh, the enemy mid by seven times as well. Uh, supports almost twice the damage, jungler a little like third of the damage uh, and our ADC not ADC pretty similar damage. In terms of words I put down five all the time that I had a free word I exhausted it completely and the enemy support actually put down one which is a very very bad indicator.
And yeah, that'll be the Palm Stop God God, <laughs> the Anubis, Bob Stomping since 2012. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video of me playing Anubis of that awkward and but very fun and effective start. It works like 50-50, if people anticipate that and uh, you did do that like a couple games in a row, they get used to it if they play previous games with you. But if they not, they usually don't track you and you get so much early pressure immediately. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you want to ask me a question, leave a comment. If you like the video, like the video. And as always, hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.